That's interesting. I've worked with developers for so long and I consider myself a developer. So I'm kind of biased in my opinions here. Like just, I guess I should have said that in the beginning, I'm really biased in everything that I say because I've, I've been a developer for a really long time. Um, I think that um, don't be afraid. And this is, in, this is good advice in general, but I think it's good advice with developers. Don't let them talk over you. Like, like if they say something and you don't understand, ask them to clarify. Um, it's, it, there's so much going on and there are so many different things. Um, you know, it's important to make sure that when you're doing your user research and you're in, you're talking to your audience that, that you have them explain things to you because it, it can be very easy to make assumptions and get it wrong. Um, and, and so it's really important to d dive deep down and really understand what it is they're talking about. And there are many things that are very overlapping and they can go this way or they could go that way. So it's important to ask those clarifying questions. Um, and I think it's also important to, to keep in mind again, that they, you know, they're not just your user base, but they're, they're also um, partners on, on this side of the fence. And so, you know, make allies out of the developers you work with to better understand the developers you're, you're designing for. Um, which we're really lucky to have that insight here. You know, we work with a huge development team. We're on the engineering team. So not only do we have to talk to them about um, our designs and the things that they need to implement, but they're using the tool we're building for them and designing for them. So we get this like crazy feedback loop that comes in where we get to hear from them their initial thoughts and ideas. Um, but that's also dangerous because then you can get in this little bubble and think that, well, the way I use it and the way they use it is the way everybody else will use it. Um, and so you do have to get out of that GitLab bubble. And it's the same for any product. Don't get yourself in that bubble where you think just because you're using your product and then the developers are using your product that you totally get how other people are using it because you probably don't.